what do we understand by insurance regulation? Basically, it refers to how the government oversees the insurance market to ensure fairness and professionalism. Why regulation? All the insurance uh, contracts are private by nature. The impact of the industry means the government has always to come step in because um, uh, we have public interest. Okay, a uh, company is going to pay the claims, um, uh, service, or uh, whatever are uh, the amounts that insurance companies have been uh, uh, given to, to, to invest, like in life products. Are they being applied to um, the right uh, uh, purpose? So that's why governments will always come in. And that's when the regulatory framework comes into play. This mainly comprises the statutory law. Um, you'll have uh, administrative regulations and you'll have court decisions. That's what usually will uh, comprise uh, the insurance regulation. So if we go and um, look at um, the various types of regulations we've had, we have what we call the self-regulation. This used to happen in the past. I don't see any um, any examples which are happening at the moment. In the past, you'll find um, um, governments will tell insurance companies, you regulate yourself, um, ensure you work fairly, but it's no longer whatever. And then you'll, you, you'll get a second version, which is the co-regulation, where the, the government partially regulates and asks the insurance companies to agree on standards and practices, and then they jointly regulate the sector. But the most common types are types... Uh, uh, three and four, that's direct government regulation, where the government sets laws and resolutions, and through a department or an entity that the government controls, they oversee the conduct of the industry. This would be what would be happening in Ethiopia currently. And then we have the regulatory agency. This is where a public authority or government agency is created and given semi-autonomous powers to oversee uh, the conduct of the insurance industry. Uh, the last part, this is mainly uh, the independent regulatory agency. It's, uh, there, there are very few in the region. Uh, it's uh, a form of agency that is mainly embraced uh, back in the United States where a regulatory agency is created, which is independent from the branches of the government. All the executive government does is appoint uh, whoever runs that agency, but how it runs, the government has no control. So this last part doesn't really um, apply in this region. So. I